Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. I'm going to start things off today by showing a beautiful musical piece that was composed by my first guest this morning, Bill Lorraine. Now, along with being a composer and a pianist, Bill is also a sculptor and a writer. He has called Key West his home for the past 35 years. Bill is a very quiet but powerful presence. You'll be able to hear from him right after the video. Bill, your music is absolutely beautiful. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now, before we discuss the Hemingway piece, which yes. our viewers just saw, mm -hmm. how did Key West come into your life? I came to Key West about 35 years ago. Uh, I came here to finish writing a, a musical piece. I finished that, and I just fell in love with uh, the, the town and the island and the people, mostly the people, mm -hmm. uh, and just stayed. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the um, the fact that it doesn't get cold in the wintertime, mm -hmm. just like everybody else, mm -hmm. and the water sports and 
um, just the atmosphere. So you just, you love it all, it sounds I, like. And I still, I still am very enchanted by the place, yes. Now, you mentioned that you came down here to finish a piece. Mm -hmm. Was it the piece that we just witnessed? No, it was an, another piece for choir and orchestra. Um, I performed that about um, 20 years ago um, and just kept writing, you know, and um, playing the piano at various places around town. Mm -hmm. And um, the piece I wrote um, recently, uh, the Hemingway Suite that we just heard, is based on... Um, the novels and short stories of Ernest Hemingway, what I tried to do was go to the emotional core of each one of those stories and write music appropriate to that. The one we just heard was for, for uh, Farewell to Arms, romantic music, uh, trying to match the romanticism of Hemingway's writing. I don't know how you do that. I'm so impressed and uh, amazed by people who can come up with compositions, musical compositions, in their head. Has music always been a big part of your life, though? Yes. Um, I started taking piano lessons when I was about 10 years old. Did all, did a, played in, in high school and college bands and uh, sang in the choirs and so forth. Uh, so it's been a big part of my life. I, I made a living as a musician uh, for years. Uh, I was a solo pianist for Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines for 10 years every summer and um, it's always been a big part of my life um, and I hear these things in my head and I've learned through the years to take what I hear and notate them so other people can can play them on other instruments. Well, it's a wonderful gift that you have well, been given you. to be thank able you. to do that. And along with music being a big part of your life, mm -hmm. another big part of your life, Bill, is your writing. You've, yes. you've mm -hmm. written a number of books. I've written three books, um, one novel, one uh, group of short stories that I just uh, recently published, and a beautiful book uh, of my poetry and my wife, Anne Lorraine, um, her illustrations. And, her illustrations are what make it a beautiful book, it's like a coffee table book. Very proud of that. You and Anne are both so talented, Bill. Yes. Is it nice to be married to a woman who, who is so talented that do you guys kind of inspire each other daily? We do. Uh, well, we understand each other and the needs of uh, an artist, a working artist, uh, pretty well, I think. Um, she has to <clears throat> be on her own certain amount of time. When I'm composing, I have to be uninterrupted on long stretches, and we both understand that. So it works out. It works. You guys make we, a good we also, team. We also inspire each other. We run each other, run things past each other, and, you know, uh, make sure they're, they're good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you definitely value each other's opinions. Oh, yeah. Then. Oh, yeah. I mentioned, Bill, that you're, you're a writer, mm -hmm. you're a composer, a pianist, and you're also a sculptor. And you have yes. some pieces right now for the public to see. That's right. Uh, at the studios of Key West, I have a show there. Uh, eight of my sculptures are in that show. And that's, that's my visual art. Uh, the, the, the other art that I do is more cerebral. It, it's you know, writing words or writing music. Uh, I really like that I have a, a visual uh, expression. And what I do is I use the um, foundation stones of the old conch houses. When they do a renovation of a house in Key West, these old stones that were quarried back in the 1920s, uh, the carpenters and contractors around town uh, will save the best ones of those for me, deliver them to my uh, house, and I use those as my material. So the, the, your pieces then have a lot of culture and history to them. Well, they've been, they've been in Key West <laughs> holding up the houses for, you know, for 100 years, right. some of them, yeah. Very interesting. Now, Bill, when you do get free time, when you're not working on your art, when you're not writing your books, when you're not making your music, <laughs> what do you like to do? Well, my wife and I love to travel. We, we've been everywhere. And uh, when I was working on the cruise ships, of course, we got to go everywhere in Europe, Russia, and all through the Caribbean, uh, Mexico, places like that. And she would usually join me for the last week of my cruise, and so we could spend some time together in some exotic place. Mm -hmm. So traveling. But you, traveling, you probably, yeah. 
you, <coughs> with everything you're doing, it, I bet your spare time is definitely a little limited. <laughs> well, I prefer to be uh, engaged in, in the, my work. Mm -hmm. that's, that's really the most fun thing that I do is, is I can't wait to get back in there. I do my composition at the piano, and then I take what I write and put it in the computer and do arrangements for whatever instruments I'm writing for. And that, that's, to me, that's fun. That, right. I like that. When your work is your passion, then your work really isn't work. <laughs> uh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I, I like to cook, mm -hmm. and I guess that's uh, one little diversion mm -hmm. that uh, I, I do every day. Okay, mm -hmm. well, wonderful. Well, Bill, you're such a, a wonderful president, presence down here <laughs> in the Keys. You definitely add add so much with your talents and your creativity. Well, thank you, Jim. Thank you for being on this morning. Sure. And if you want more information on Bill, just check out the website that you see on the bottom of the screen. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I will be back with some more talented people of the Keys. Stay with me.